Um, yeah, so hey, um, my name is Catalina Banker Vélez. I am a junior global studies political science double major with a French minor and another minor in Latin American studies. I'm originally from Medellin, Colombia, and I moved to I moved to Woodbridge, Connecticut um, when I was eight years old. So Woodbridge is around like New Haven, um, but yeah. On campus, I'm involved in um, Student Congress. I'm the chair of our Awareness, Education, and Collaboration Committee. In that committee, we, we work towards um, eradic eradicating and, and minimizing um, identity-based injustices here on campus. Another big thing that I'm involved in is I'm the vice president of our Organization of Latin American Students, um, OLAS, and that's just a little family that we've created to celebrate culture, celebrate our common identity of being Latin American and it's just beautiful. I'm also a peer minister um, and it's just beautiful to to walk alongside um, my participants and my my fellow peer ministers and CMLers in their faith journey um, as I grow in, in mine. And I'm also an admission ambassador and an orientation leader um, and those are just two awesome outlets to get to meet new people and, and share my love and appreciation for Providence College. So I think my, my favorite aspect of all of that, I'll focus on that, my favorite aspect is that you are able, there, it, it's a space where you're able to create and develop and foster these really, really special and meaningful relationships. Um, based around like a central part of one's identity. Um, and so I have, Olas has been the place where I have found many role models. Um, yeah, shout out Caro, Caro Rivera, uh, Louis Mangu, uh, yeah, all of them. Uh, Val, Junieli, Juan, Mateo, they're all, uh, yeah, Laura. They're all amazing um, role models that, that they were amazing leaders, and so so that's my favorite thing about Olas, aspect-wise. And then, I think, like my favorite meeting and my favorite memory was one time we had to do like a like a finish the lyric competition. It was like my first year, and it was so much fun because we got so into it. It was like four different teams, and we were so competitive. Um, but since music, like like so special because music is such a big big part of Latin American culture, and so like. Like, that's why we got so into it, because we were like, no, I know these songs better than, you know what I mean? Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Um, yeah, so our general meetings, we meet Thursdays um, at 6 in Moore 118. Um, and our general meetings basically go, are organized in, in a way where we have a serious topic, but also a fun um, gain more discussion, right? So we start off with uh, the more serious topic, whether it's we research um, any anything that's ongoing in, Latin, in a Latin American country, whether it's an election or protests or um, new laws that are being passed and stuff. And, that, and that's to maintain kind of a connection to um, that heritage and, and be more aware of what's going on where, of where we come from. And so after the serious discussion, we usually transition into um, a game or a fun discussion. So the other day, we're trying, this year we've started making it more like childhood games. So like games that we usually wouldn't play here. So there's this one game called, I think it's like Gajina Siega, which means like, like blind hen. And it was like, you blindfold someone and they have to like try to like get you and it's kind of like a like a Marco Polo outside of water whatever but it's yeah it's just fun stuff and it's just games that we we never got into play like in the US and so it's like a little reminder of home um, and and then we close it out with any announcements and um, yeah and the song of the week which is chosen on our story every week yeah <laughs> what's your favorite song that you guys have picked so far um, so it's super, uh, I think our favorite song that we've picked has probably been, oh, I can't remember, um, I Am A Remix by 
Neo Garcia and just a bunch of other singers. That's just something. I think the question was like, what's the best song to get lit to? And that was it. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'll start with what it means to be on Congress. Um, I think Congress is the liaison between the student body and the administration. And I think that that gives us leverage to be able to amplify voices. Um, it, it, and, I, and I, on Congress, I, I feel as though it is my, my duty, my responsibility to, um, to amplify the voices and represent the voices of my peers. Um, and be, because we have that connection with the administration. And so doing things such as like hosting events and, and, and passing legislation and, and like posting graphics and every single committee in, in, on Congress is, is an opportunity to represent student voices and, and what the students want. Um, but as a Latina, woman on Congress. Um, I think it's especially critical to amplify the voices of minorities on campus, of people who might not feel as represented. Um, because, because in that position, we get to bring voices that we get to propel and amplify voices into different rooms, into different um, meetings that might not usually be able to enter the rooms, just given how, like, the systemic like organization of of an institution um, like a university, and so so yeah, I, I I just Congress to me means means a duty to represent um, people and especially those who do not feel represented, um, and yeah, transitioning into what it means to be. A peer minister, an orientation leader, and an admission ambassador is, is, well, one I I, I love getting to meet new people. Um, I like live my life with like the the notion that that everyone has a story and everyone has um, something something special, something that like gets them up every day, um, gets you out of bed, right? And so in these roles, in these leadership roles, um, I get to, to, to sit and, and, and have a conversation and get to know people um, and get to know their voice, right? And, and, and understand their voice and understand where they come from. And that's just so beautiful, especially because in college, it's like, we're all growing. We're all, it, it, we're like, we're still learning so much. And, and you can learn so much from, from conversations with people and, and to help them transition into college or, or transition into the faith or to help them, yeah, like in their transition from high school to college, that's all just super, super, super special. Um, and the, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the like, that's also an outlet for me to share a little bit of why I do what I do and why I, I love and, and appreciate um, Providence College. To be a woman leader on campus, um, it's something that I'm very proud of. Um, I love I love walking into a room and like being like, okay, like I am I'm not only well, it's okay, so. As a, a like as Colombian born, when we moved here, my mom, um, my mom said to us, my brother and I, she said, "You guys are are ambassadors for Colombia. You guys are rep the representatives of Colombia, right? You meet someone, and you might be the first person um, that they might meet that they're from Colombia, right? So, so I've always carried this mentality of, okay, I'm the ambassador for everything that's in my identity, right? So, I'm a I'm a Colombian ambassador. I'm a woman ambassador, and so transferring that into these leadership roles. Um, I'm empowered by the women that have come before me, my mom and, and every other amazing woman that, that has entered into my life. Um, 
and like, and, 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 and I feel inspired to be an ambassador, not only for, for, for them and for everything they taught me, but for everyone who's to come. Um, and especially like seeing these up and coming leaders on campus, these underclassmen, it's, it's been awesome um, to be in these roles and, and facilitate them in tapping in, especially women, facilitate them in tapping into these like powerful, um, powerful traits that are just, that you, you're just gifted because you're a woman, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so regarding the intersectionality and the future or the vision that I may see for, for women, um, women of color on campus is, is I, I wish to see when I come back in a couple of years, I wish to see more spaces for them to be able to express themselves comfortably, right? So one thing is like expressing whatever you're feeling or whatever you're fighting for to be uncomfortable in a room but I, I, I wish that in every room that a woman or that a person of color enters that they're comfortable in it um, and that that I think that can be done through or that can be achieved and then kind of going into this intersectionality um, that can be achieved by simple conversation I think really getting to know someone who isn't like you is is one of the most powerful things and it's just not it's 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 not something that can be done in one or two conversations right like it takes time to sit down and 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 get to know people and so to get to understand their intersectionality because identities are so complex and so rich but also so beautiful that you can learn so much from people and so to sum it all up um yeah in in thinking about the intersectionality in the future um of women i i wish to see more spaces, more comfortable spaces opened up for them, um, whether that's in the classroom, whether that's in the administration, whether that's in clubs, um, and that can be obtained, and I, I'm certain of it, through um, fruitful conversation and, and, and genuine um, respect and, and, and the desire to get to know them. 10 years. I'll be 30. Um, 10 years, I, well, my, my, my first vision is to, to, to maintain this relationship I have with my family that, and my friends, my close friends, just to be, to be the best person that I could be for them. Um, maintaining values, virtues, um, and, and yeah, so, so, emotionally and, and spiritually and and mentally I want to be the best the best that I can be and, and in pursuit of um, being the, 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 the best the most holistic the formed individual that I could be in order to best serve the people around me um, and in terms of career so I recently had this epiphany but I'm I'm interested in going into immigration law and so into pursuing a career as an immigration lawyer um, because it's something that's that's so personal to me and I and I and I can't wait to, to be aiding in the transition into being a, an American citizen that that notion of of like of making the US your home and I think that's something that that, that I can't I can't wait to to be a part of and to help people yeah Okay, so I'll talk about three three women that have inspired me in, in, in everything I do. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna nerd out for a second, but I love Colombian history. And there's this woman in, in Colombian history who is this like powerful, her name's, okay, it's really complicated, but they call her La Pola. And she is like, like she embodies the, the justice seeking, the, the powerful woman that I want to, to, to become. Um, and basically what she did, she taught herself, or she like found a way to learn how to read and write. And this was during the like Colombian Revolution, um, or like independence from Spain. And, and she taught herself how to read and write. And then she would sneak into like 
but she also knew how to sew. And so she snuck into like the houses of the like Spaniards, right? And when they would be planning things and like battles and stuff, she'd be listening and she'd be writing down everything um, that they were writing about, and then she'd bring it back to like the rebels. And then so she was she was kind of a spy for the rebels. So I think that she's awesome. She's awesome. Um, and so that's the first one that kind of drives my like career and my my passion for for civic engagement. Um, and then the next woman that that is the point person of everything and everything I am today um, is my mom. Her name is also Catalina, um, and she's also a Leo. So <laughs> my mom is yeah, my mom is everything, and that's that's what I can say about her. That she's everything. She is the reason why I am who I am, um, and she teaches me patience and 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 love and and faith and everything and, and she's yeah, amazing um and then somebody who really reminds me of my mom here on campus and, and is also somebody that inspires me every day is my roommate um caroline lewis shout out <laughs> um she's 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 so inspirational in in, in how she loves everything around her um and 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 she does everything out of love and and that that's something that i it's really hard to do and, and so just seeing her um love everything is is so special and so powerful um yeah <laughs>